They call me Squirrel. What's going on, Squirrel Squad? It is your boy, the Squirrel. We're back with another piece from the Al Murray's Great British... British... I had to rewind that. We're back with another piece from Al Murray's Great British Pub Quiz. And uh, I thought the first one was uh, kind of funny, informative, uh, and I enjoyed playing along. So we're going to do another little piece here. This one's called Tesco's or Tonsils. What does this Victorian invention snip? Oh, man. Let's just get into this. I mean, let's, let's just get... Yeah. All right. It's time. It's time to see what Al's got for us today. You ready? Also, I haven't gotten my answer yet. Are these famous people or not? I haven't gotten my answer because I'm recording these back to back. So how the hell? I, I understand. Why was this given to Victorian children? Was it to play marbles, to stop them fidgeting, to practice the piano, or to tether them to their parent? Well, it's not going to be that because the, the fingers. You need a one small, big one, yeah, one small yeah, one for that, yeah, so yeah. we can so rule that out. Which one are we ruling we out? Rule out the, the fourth parents. one. You said that with so much clarity, like you what? know how to tether a child. I <laughs> 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 know how to do that, and this ain't going to work. <laughs> this is why he used to be a deputy head. <laughs> <laughs> it's the same people here. Yeah, so we don't think it's that because it, it won't be bigger. I quite like the stop the fidgeting bit. Yeah, I'm sure. I think that. Stop fidgeting, yeah. Well, it's sort of Victorian thing, isn't it? Being yeah, control like of children that much. Control. Do you want to look at I'm just going to go with marbles because it's the most ridiculous one on there. Is it? If they're not yeah. playing marbles. Yeah. Yeah. It can't be for practicing the piano because you. No. Yes. Also, maybe you don't have to. Maybe you have to tie it round the child. Yeah. On the neck or something. No. <laughs> but the fidgeting, it's like. <laughs> <laughs> do they want that back now? Straight jacket. <laughs> it's, it's intact. <laughs> okay. What would you do with marbles? What do you in particular? Well, maybe it's for that... holding them, like ready, and then you go. Whoop! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine doing that without one of these. Yeah. Unthinkable. <laughs> <laughs> I like the fidgeting one. Yeah, I do. Yeah. I like. I'd like to stop them fidgeting. Right, we'll go for stop them fidgeting. That's to it. stop them fidgeting. You're right. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. They're cool. Finger, finger stocks. Sean, would you like to demonstrate the finger stocks? I would love to, yeah. To stop a child fidgeting, their fingers would have been placed in these holes, then their hands placed behind their back, and then the two pieces of wood were tied together. Oh. The Victorians, the gift that keeps on giving. Unbelievable. <laughs> Thank you, Sean. <laughs> yeah. well done. Three points. OK, it's time for us to say to the pavilion end, what? Is it? Sean, we, we still got this uh, guy. Is it Sean? So he just said Sean. So I'm guessing that's the guy on the end with no name tag. The name tagless guy who looks like, I don't know, he looks rough. He they possibly might have been on a drinking bender last night. I'm not sure, but he looks rough. What you got for them? <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, that's Sean. That's there right. you go. Please put them on. Ronnie O'Sullivan, 47. Put them on. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this is what you got. <laughs> Voila. Okay, so uh, first impressions, please. It is a metal hooped device mm. with finger holders. So obviously it's for. Uh, oh, I, I can see exactly what it is here. Okay. You see, the last pickled onion in the jar. <laughs> that would work for that. Is a wily fella. <laughs> and this here enables you to corner it against the bottom rim of the jar, and then using this pickle javelin, <laughs> pickle javelin, inject it into the actual body. Whatever this thing is, it looks fucking painful. ...of the pickle oh. and rescue Whoa. it. It's got a double action. OK, I'll tell you what, I'll give you some options. Um, oh. What was this designed... <laughs> oh, Jesus! <laughs> ...to cut off? All right, OK, OK, OK. Oh, no fault. Is it for tonsils? Oh, no! <laughs> Testicles! Oh, bloody hell! <laughs> Warts? <laughs> or hemorrhoids? Oh, please, God, no! Hemorrhoids. Uh, tonsils. <laughs> I, got, I gotta go tonsils. Uh, well, I don't tonsils, testicles... It's too big for warts, I would think. I think it's too big for... I think it's tonsils. Warts are the old ones. Fuck Or the old bum grapes. Which one's it for? Bum the grapes. The rest of hemorrhoids now. Yeah. 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 Stay there. Stay there. We, we have an idea. I think we can rule out testicles, can't we? I'd like to. Speak to yourself. Yeah, yeah rule out testicles. <laughs> I just say... I just also say the pickle javelin is going to be the name of my next band. Oh, just... <laughs> Tonsils, testicles, warts, or hemorrhoids. Oh, I don't like this game anymore. How can I go and play? I think tonsils are more complicated than that. Yes, they are. So I think it's between warts and hemorrhoids. Oh. Yes, yeah, because that's... Right. The it usually is. Warts. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can see, I can see what happens now. Secondary action. So, yeah. So you think it 
grabs it there with the nail and yeah. then snip it off. Oh! Ooh. So look here, there, stab yeah, and snip. off. Yeah, so what are we what are we snipping off? I Could think. I don't want to know. Know. <laughs> <laughs> well, unfortunately, we're going to have to find out. I think ha I I know there was a really basic operation for hemorrhoids up until about like the 40s or 50s. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Watson, is it? It removes the gunk before. Oh, oh. Jesus. <laughs> So you, you think you warts? Oh. You got warts. Shall we go warts? You're going warts. Oh, warts. Yeah. OK. Warts. It isn't warts. Oh. It isn't testicles. Oof. It's not hemorrhoids either. Oh. Oh, that is a tonsil yeah. guillotine. Oh, oh my God. God. Um, and Sean will demonstrate <laughs> now. <laughs> <laughs> Come here, Clifford. <laughs> Tonsils were once thought to be seemingly useless, right up until 1969 when I had mine taken out for no apparent reason. So yeah. this is what they'd use. It's like Me a too. tonsil guillotine. Oh. It's not complicated. You put the sharp bladed piece around the tonsil, push the blade home to remove it. Oh. Enjoy your next trip to the hospital. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, my tonsils taken out uh, when I was a kid, and they they lie to you. They're like, "You're gonna go in. Uh, they're gonna take the tonsils out. You're gonna get all the ice cream you can eat. All the ice cream you can eat. Everyone's gonna take care of you and wait on you. And then you're not gonna get sick nearly as much as all the other kids now because that's what makes you sick. That's how they fucking pitched it to me as a kid. Pardon my French. And uh, I went into the hospital. I did the surgery. I woke up in so much pain. I sucked on ice chips like six hours later. They found out I'm stuck on ice chips. I got one popsicle the next morning. They're like, here, here's a freeze pop. Put your shoes on. Let's go. Your mother's bringing you home. And then I went home and sucked on ice chips for three days. Screw that. And then, by the way, I've never not been as sick as everybody else. That's a lie. Just as sick as everybody else. Just as much. Doesn't That doesn't make a difference. So, yeah, I'm not sure why they ripped the tonsils out of everybody. I don't know. Um, I, I don't know. Maybe it helps some people. I never saw any kind of benefit from it, but uh, and I never got the damn all you can eat ice cream. It's a bunch of bullshit. Anyways, I got to go. You guys be good. Take care of yourselves. Scroll out.